I see that train a-coming It's rolling around the bend I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when Well, I'm talking for some prison And time keeps dragging on When I hear that whistle blowing On down to San Antonio Just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. But I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head. Eating in that fancy dining car I bet they're drinking coffee Smoking big cigars I knew I had it coming I knew I can't be free But that train keeps a moving And that's what tortures me You can bet I'd move it on a little farther down the line Far from Folsom Prison, that's where I want to stay I'd let that lonesome whistle
talk to reaper and willow how to cry, cry, cry. And I showed the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky. But the tears I cried for that woman are gonna flood you, big river. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. much for coming. Thanks for everyone, for David Spellman for putting this thing on. And uh, we're going to try to do an encore here. So everybody come on up. We're going to try to uh, put this together as quickly as we can. It's here for the uh, persuasions. <laughs> Catherine Russell. David Bromberg. Laura Cantrell, the hymns. We got a lot of people. I'm just gonna stop naming them. You know. Executive producer of the River to River Festival. I want to tell our viewers a little about yourself? Uh, the River to River Festival is a 
festival started in 2002, our first summer was in 2002, following September 11th, 2001, as a way to, you know, incentivize getting people back downtown to enjoy the many sights and exciting events happening down here. There are six partners in the festival. There's Arts World Financial Center, we're standing right now in the Winter Garden in the World Financial Center. Alliance for Downtown New York, which is the business improvement district for Lower Manhattan, uh, Lower Manhattan Cultural Council, Battery Park City Authority, South Street Seaport, and the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. I got all six. Oh, that's a four name. How do you guys yeah. feel about it? Do you have any, uh, an executive producer for each organization? Well, yeah, each organization does its own programming, its own booking, and we have a steering committee that meets, you know, once a month or once every couple of weeks, depending on needs, to sort of get together and talk about what everybody's doing. Uh, River to River, when it started, was primarily a marketing umbrella and a sponsorship engine as a as sort of this larger so organization. Not for profit or? We are not for profit. We're actually under the umbrella. We're not strictly our own organization. We're under the umbrella of the Alliance for Downtown New York, which is a nonprofit. So how do you guys go about getting artists? Do they contact do you, contact them, or is it kind of we, Generally, we contact them. Um, we, we work primarily with, with up and coming and firmly established artists, but they're not, they're, they're definitely all seasoned pros. And so we do have some smaller series. We have a lunchtime series at Potty Park where we take sort of really up and coming artists who contact us mostly. Um, but but our big stages like this one are, are firmly established. And when does the festival run? It starts in May? It starts at the end of May and this goes year. September? Yep. Yeah, this year it was May 28th, we go to about mid-September. So and then does it close down, or do you do anything during the fall and winter? Or? We don't do any events during the fall and winter. We really are a summer festival. We are actually the largest summer-long free arts festival in the nation. That's, that's the other really important thing about what we do. But that's do. pretty it's critical that's free. free. It has to be free, because, because, because our mission is to bring people back downtown and to introduce audiences to new artists. And how's that going? It's going like great. Cats. It's yeah, we get huge crowds. I mean, they when they started the festival, I, I was not at with the festival at the very beginning, but when they started the festival, um, you know, they weren't sure how long we'd be around, how long we'd last, and it's just been such an overwhelming. Success. I know you guys have really good crowd control. It's down here with Silent like Youth. Yeah, it's just worked like a charm. Yeah. Like yeah. No, we have to for some of our venues. You know, the the capacity is fairly limited. You know, uh, City Parks works with us for the 4th of July, and we just have to be really careful that we don't, you know, overcrowd it. So we do have to do pretty good crowd control there. Some of our venues are much more open, like here in South Street Seaport, where we just, you know, people can just come and they can be all the way back, you know, at South Street Seaport on the other side of the FDR, and uh, it's not a problem. So where would you like to see the festival going in the next four or five years? It's a good question. I mean, Lower Manhattan is changing tremendously. There's so much construction going on down here. There's is that new... the end of the festival, or does it hinder it? Um, in some ways, it does. I mean, there's there's going to be a lot of changes coming up in Battery Park, so we may have to move our venue there. You know, we, we sort of just work with what we get, and uh, but there's so much going on down here. That, you know, in however many years, there'll be a whole new. Uh, building complex right across the street here at Ground Zero and, and there may be new spaces for us to program in there. Um, and you know, so so we're just gonna keep doing what we do and work with what, what's down here and people will keep coming because it's free and it's great quality performances. So, so uh, anything else you'd like to add or tell um, people come on down? Yeah, right? come it's on free. down. It's free and it's summer and it's fun. I mean, what, what could be better? I'll testify to that. <laughs>
Thank you. I know y'all are wondering, why does she change tambourines? It's very important. She has a copyright on the Starberines, right? first of all. And in my mind, they somehow, they, they all sound different. It's like a guitar. You might not care or be wondering at all, but just in case. And this one's prettier, but louder. That one's not so pretty quiet. Never told anyone that before, so. Now you're telling a tell whole group of people. I know. Strangers. I like even. them. They're strangers, but they're very nice, I can tell. Because you like New York better than Boston, huh? I like New York better than any place, so I like them. Okay, who likes Cindy better? <laughs> who likes me better? That's awesome. I love you. I don't only really like you, I love you. You know what? I don't like New York anymore. <laughs> this song was written in the uh, high desert in Nevada. It's called All I Know. The desert 
skies and fill the stars as far as you can dream. A parachute lights a blue across the sky's tree. Down here on the ground, how free am I? Like a crow. I wish my soul to rise and fly. Here's a promise, there's a light. God knows heaven's in the sky. We'd love to sell you. This is our last song and this is on it.
Cause this show 